So one of my YouTube members asked me the question, what products I recommend for them to pick up? You know, what should they open? And also, while I was working at the card shop that I work at the other day, I had two people come in throughout the day. They were beginners. They had played Master Duel and they were like, hey, what would you recommend for new players to pick up, you know, today? We're here at the card shop. What should we get? This made me realize that Yu-Gi-Oh! has a very, very bad products lineup. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not very welcoming at all. So let me break it down to you because I have products that I like and that I would recommend people open like, oh, sorry, um, like Infinite Forbidden. I would recommend people open because I think it has a lot of cool stuff in it and a lot of good stuff. But it, that's if you pull it, you know, and that's like you got to pull multiples of it and all that. Um, the other thing I would recommend is usually Megatons because Megatons surprisingly have a ton of stuff to play with or sets like Battles of Legend, um, like the little box ones, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe they're not called, but I don't know what they're called, but whatever they are. They're like the chapters, chapter ones, I don't know. But anyway, they have a ton of cool stuff in them and a ton of stuff to build decks with. Now, you may say, well, what about the deck builder sets? Well, I was telling the people at the card shop about that. I was like, hey, we got deck builder sets. You got, uh, we had the fire one on the shelf still. And that's about it, the pyro one. And I was like, this is pretty good. Uh, you could get a ton of cards to play with and, and things, but you're only going to get a certain amount of ultra rares out of here. And it sucks because a lot of the strategies that you're going to be building around need those ultra rares and need those. Uh, it, it's frustrating. It is frustrating because I can't tell them, hey, just pick up a structure deck because all of the structure decks are... <laughs> Uh, how do we say? They're either anime focused, which these guys didn't want. They wanted something that was at least able to be played at locals. And I told them, I was like, hey, not everyone's playing like crazy strong at locals. But in the area that I'm at, they are. They're playing hard. They're playing because we have one of the YCSs in my state. So a lot of people play pretty hard where we're from. Uh, it sucks. It, it really sucks because I can't just tell them pick up a crystal crystal beast structure deck and you'll be fine because that'd be lying to them. They'd walk into the OTS and they'd be playing and get smacked. Uh, <laughs> but that was that. I told them about those. The One of the guys ended up getting uh, the Albaz structure deck because I told him out of all of them that we have, this one's going to be the most competitive like the closest to competitive that you can get i told him about the trap tricks one but he didn't like traps so hey i don't blame him i don't blame him so he picked that up and then i helped him build what well, he like looked around on the internet and he grabbed a deck list and i looked up all the cards for him and i picked out all the singles and i was like this sucks that this is how you gotta do it because he really wanted open packs he, he totally straight up, he's like, I don't want to just build a deck out of singles. I really wanted to open stuff, but I'm like, you're not going to, there's nothing that Konami makes currently that is going to be worth opening, if I'm being honest with you. I told him about Rarity Collection 2. I said, now if you're looking for general staples and like good things that could go in multiple decks, I was like, Rarity Collection is pretty good. You know, I would open it, but he didn't even have a deck yet. So why does he need all these staples if he can't even play a deck yet? So yeah, that's my frustration for today. Uh, I really wanted to recommend products because someone, again, one of my members asked me the same thing. I don't know. I don't know what to recommend to Yu-Gi-Oh players because Yu-Gi-Oh does a bad job at it. They really do. I, I'll give other card games, a lot of props, their product lineup is pretty straightforward. Whereas Konami goes like, all card games are gambling. If you're buying packs and you're opening them, it's a form of gambling. You are not guaranteed anything. But other card games do a lot better job 
at giving you the resources in these packs to make something still. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not, okay? And let me break that down for you a little bit. So let's say you were trying to build a, I don't know, uh, let's take floor, a floor deck. You know, the defloor archetype. You're trying to build that archetype. You're like, hey, I really want to build this. I want to build it by opening up some packs. You open up a couple of uh, Synchro Storm packs and you're like, I didn't pull this Ultra Rare or that or this. I'm like, dang, that sucks. Um, you pulled some rares and things that can be put into the deck, but you have no payoff. Like Baron de Floor or any of the high, it's frustrating. It is terrible. I don't have a solution for this. I really don't. I think Konami is stuck in their way. They're going to keep making products how they're making them. And new players are just going to have a hard time getting into the game. Because as much as people hate opening product and hate the concept behind it, new players want to open product. It's just true. Like I work at a car shop. I see it all the time. New players want to open product. It is the fun of the game. It's what draws them in. They don't want to come in and just be like, I want this single, this single, this single, unless they're coming from another card game. But most of the Yu-Gi-Oh players never played another card game. They, I'm serious. Like a lot of them that I see in person are just, they picked up Master Duel and they're like, hey, I want to play this in real life. They can't open packs because they're coming from Master Duel where you have the secret packs and everything. And they think that, oh, in real life, this must be how it is. You know, you must have... Um, like sets and things built around certain archetypes. And that's just, it's kind of true, but it's, it's really bad. Your ultra rare payoff is way worse. And especially if something's printed at secret rare in a main series pack, good luck. Good luck. I, 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 yeah, that's it for today. If you have opinions on this, let me know. Let me know what you think of the concept of this. Like, what would you recommend to new players? I don't know. I, I I throw my hands up. I tell people Mega Tins, Rarity Collection, and whatever the newest main series set is. That's usually how I do it because anything else is going to be hard to get your hands on or it's just going to be out of date, if I'm being honest with you, because Yu-Gi-Oh! is moving so fast nowadays that you can't just pick up an old product and play it. So that's beyond the point. But yeah. Let me know what you think down below if you're new. Make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't checked out our memberships, we got memberships and we've got super things. So you can do those if you want. You don't have to. Members get early access to my videos. And if you leave a comment down below or whatever for what I should make a video on next in terms of topics to talk about, uh, members always get first pick above everyone else. That's just how it is. But otherwise, I will get around to the comments that tell me what they want to see. So I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.